what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to take you through a plyometric workout. So what you're going to need to do is pick five plyometric exercises, which you're about to see throughout this video. And then you're going to use the app Interval Timer. And you're going to set your high interval for 30 seconds. And this is when you're doing the plyometric exercise. And then the low interval is going to be set for 10 seconds. So as you're seeing right now, I'm breaking for 10 seconds. And then you're going to repeat this for five rounds. So you're constantly going. So for those who are unfamiliar with plyometrics, they're also known as plyos. And they are high intensity, repetitive power jumps. There are tons of different plyometric exercises and variations that you can do. And today I'm just going to show you five that I thought of up the top of my head. Um, so that is why I love these workouts because you can constantly switch them up. With these squat jacks that you're seeing right now, I like to alternate between landing with my toes straight and pointed out just to hit different areas of my legs and glutes. So plyometrics were designed for athletes who were required to continuously start and stop while maintaining speed and power. So good examples of these would be football players or sprinters. But in my opinion, everyone can benefit from plyometrics. For these jumping side lunges, you really want to use your arms to help you rotate and always drive through your heels. Some advantages of plyometrics are that they require you to use your entire body and as a result more calories are burned and weight loss is promoted. Um, speed and power will both improve as a result of plyometrics due to the high intensity workouts and the decreased muscle contraction time. For these 180 jumps, I like to alternate between the way that I'm jumping just to prevent myself from getting too dizzy. Like anything, a disadvantage of plyometrics would be injuries. Um, and they can be a little bit stressful on your joints, so I wouldn't recommend them for anyone who suffers from joint pain, and I also wouldn't recommend doing them more than once per week. To further reduce the risk of injury, I would also recommend to warm up for at least 10 minutes on a cardio machine of your choice prior to starting your plyometric workout. And after you're done your workout, it's always important to finish with a stretch or foam roll. For these skaters, it's hard to see, but I am landing in one foot without touching the other one down. And at the same time, I'm touching the ground with each jump. So to make this a little bit easier, you could remove the touching the ground or you could touch your foot down on each side. So I just wanted to share a few reasons why I personally love plyometrics. So first of all, they are unlike any other workout that I do. And they also take a lot less time than a regular training session, but they are very effective. Another reason I love them is that I feel like I'm doing cardio and muscle conditioning at the same time. So this is great for those out there that hate their cardio sessions. And last but not least, you can do these workouts almost anywhere. So once you've completed each exercise for 30 seconds, I want you to break for two to three minutes and then repeat this through for three to four times total. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout and learned something new. Thanks for watching and I'll see ya in the next.